Behold, a world touched by magic, a symphony of myth and reality, an everlasting saga of hearts set ablaze. Lend me a moment and I'll tell you a story of a fantastical realm. For untold eons, a dragon has plagued the world. Its ominous shadow looms over the lands, a dreadful creature of chaos and awe, with tales of its cruelty echoing far and wide. No mortal would dare to dream of challenging the dragon in single combat, yet there is one who must. In a legendary tale doomed to repeat across the ages, Roy Orlik. the dragon chooses a worthy champion from each generation, wrenching the beating heart from their chest and forging a being known as the Arisen. This hero, marked by fate and burdened by their lost humanity, must rise from the trappings of ordinary life and answer the call to take up arms in search of the dragon who stole their heart. But the path of the Arisen is not a solitary journey, for they are granted access to the rift, the thread connecting worlds. I see you recognize my word, Arisen. Where they can summon mystical beings from parallel realities, the loyal and hard-working pawns, masters of archery, wielders of potent spells and skilled in the arts of swordplay and melee. The pawns become the Arisen's companions and confidants. I hope you slept well, master. As they go forth on their journey, together. In pursuit of the beckoning dragon, the Arisen and their pawns set foot across two nations as disparate in terrain as they are in their ways of life. In Vermont, a fertile land cradled by alpine peaks and rolling hills, the fortress city stands as a bastion of prosperity and security. Cascading waterfalls and serpentine rivers flow throughout the countryside, feeding into fruitful farms where a feeling of abundance permeates the fresh air. Just above the capital city, Vernworth Palace rises proudly. You are approaching the gates of Vernworth. Here, the Arisen is traditionally revered as the sovereign a monarch crowned by destiny and looked upon as a champion, protecting the land from the dragon's scourge. Beyond Vermin's verdant embrace lies Batal, the nation of Bistron, a land of unforgiving deserts. Its shifting sands and jagged canyons require creative thinking to traverse, with gondolas connecting precarious outposts. Here, the Arisen is not an esteemed sovereign, but an outsider. Their pawn companions believed to be a source of grave misfortune. Batal's rulers are not of human lineage, but rather Bistran priestesses who worship the lambent flame. For the Bistran believe its sacred fires shield them from the calamity of the dragon. Meanwhile, outside the reaches of human and Bistran, Hidden within the depths of the forest, an ancient sect of elves resides in seclusion, speaking in a tongue known only to them and avoiding contact with other races. On their journey, the Arisen will navigate through conflicts between species and the complexities of culture, faith, and history in each land. The choices the Arisen makes will shape not only their future, that of those with whom they interact, but the future of the world itself.
The Arisen's odyssey is fraught with peril. For the world is home not only to human and beastren, but to all manner of monsters, hungering to defeat the hero and their pawns. Each step of the way is marked with blood and sweat shed in the face of relentless adversaries. The harrowing shrieks of harpies reverberate through the mountains and canyons. Resourceful goblins lurk in the shadows, skillfully adapting to the terrain and waiting to ambush in groups. The footsteps of lumbering golems, animated by powerful charms, shake the earth and rattle the Arisen's bones. And when the sun sets... What we get, we can expect a busy night. Skeletons, ghosts, and undead rise from their slumber. A single undead, murmuring to itself adrift in memories of its living past, is a haunting sight. But a horde of undead, united in a mindless nocturnal frenzy, is a truly nightmarish test of metal. And the mightiest foes are monsters most only see in myths. The Minotaur's trampling hooves. The Medusa with its petrifying gaze. And the Dullahan's ghastly severed head will strike fear in even the most stout-hearted. And with every exhilarating encounter, the hero must think creatively. It will take cleverness, as well as courage, to conquer the three heads of the Chimera, slay the soaring griffin, and overpower the bronze giant, Talos. Each victory emboldens the Arisen Spirit and prepares them for the inevitable showdown with the indomitable dragon. The culmination of both their destinies. Welcome to Dragon's Dogma 2.